Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Zari and you guys are watching Finance Square. In today's video, I wanted to do something quite different. Now, I wanted to bring my own knowledge and experience working in marketing with customer facing and account management in blockchain and cryptocurrency uh, platform. And I wanted to actually give you some insights to why Polkadot compared to Cosmos or maybe compared to Quant Network is actually all over new. So we're gonna be digging, explaining briefly what is a Cosmos, what is Polkadot, what is a Quant Network, and obviously to try to understand as to why you are considering investing in Polkadot and not in other similar projects. So let's dig in. This video is not intended to really dive in into the technology of those blockchain, just to look at it from a strategically perspective as to why it's performing better as to why there is more project working on it or building on top of it this is really why i'm doing this video just for you to understand maybe for other potential investment or other potential project you'll be able to better find them out even before they become big so let's start so now we actually on the website of polkadot so i just want to give you just in one sentence what polkadot is so polkadot is built to connect a private and consortium chain public and permissionless network oracle and future technologies are yet to be connected, created so in one sentence they actually want to create a system that is unified multiple blockchain multiple networks to make sure that everyone is in the same line the same level and there's no conflict of infrastructure or technology this is in a simple term now we're going to dive in straight away to their ico when they raise money for those who don't remember they raised five million dollars and since that ico the price, if you invest in dollars, you made 54 times return. If you invest in Bitcoin, you have like a nine, a nine times uh, returns. And if you invest in Ethereum, you have a 12 fold return. So this is just for you guys, for you guys to give a perspective on how successful Polkadot is. And from $5 million market cap it to $14 billion market cap. Now we're gonna dive in straight away to understand what are the current projects that are built in on, Pol on Polkadot. So based on this website, Polkadot project, there's 343 Pol uh, Polkadot project or Polkadot based project. You can see some of them are to do with wallet, infrastructure, developer, validator, explorer, forum, workshop, and DAP. All right, now I'm gonna only focus on one project because it was all over the news. I'm talking about Riff, which was listed on Binance Lab and had a lot of uh, momentum, a lot of news about it. And you can see as well the performance lowest. So since the last seven days until today, it generated 170%. There's no data as to what was the initial price. But from what I can see here, it's almost breaking even to the what to the price that was listed on Binance Lab. So this is basically their website. So they created a DeFi gateway, liquidity and protocol aggregation, proprietary analytic, and multi-chain accessibility. It does remind me a little bit of Rain Protocol, but uh, this is just my own intuition. And this is the current investor that invested with them. And now, now I'm going to dig in as to why Polkadot is successful. So from a marketing perspective, um, Polkadot did many things right. So the first thing that Polkadot has, they have this company called KR1 that is actually advocating on behalf of Polkadot and actually or have a $20 million on an investment program for any product they would invest on a Polkadot. So the way they actually invest is they invest in the dot uh, token which is the native token of Polkadot and here you can see they have a cap of up to half million dollars. Now this is this is actually number one so um, Ah, sorry, the company is called RockX. So that's the, the, the investment firm that's investing in, in different uh, projects or building on top of Polkadot. So you, you have a lot of um, venture capital that are, have incentive 
to push different project on top of uh, Polkadot. I want to I want to visualize to why. If I had invested in Polkadot when it was around five million dollars, and I made fifty five times four. So the only way for me to really increase my uh, my investment is to obviously look for other projects which I find them useful and then can increase the value of the main chain which is Polkadot. This, this is also another reason as to why Polkadot is really doing very well compared to other projects. Also want to cover, so one of the things that Polkadot investor or VC or venture capital are doing, they actually are using their initial investment that they have, they have invested, they already made a lot of money, into funding other projects to help uh, to increase the incentive for users to stay in Polkadot and obviously to increase the value of Polkadot. So the only way you can do it by giving, giving grant. So I think in this specific um, page, you have your information as to how many grant they gave in the year. So if we're going to look now at the grant process that uh, Polkadot has been actually accelerating. So 2018, they had like nine grant. 2019, they had 51 grant. And 2020, they have 23 grant. Obviously, there was a very big drop in 2020. But regardless, that is a very healthy growth overall. And this is another reason why Polkadot is very successful. So we said they have the VC backing them up. So the part of their initial investor, they're very happy with their return. They obviously want to increase those return and to make Polkadot main, mainstream to, by finding projects are gonna bring maybe institutional, maybe even a retailer like yourself into Polkadot. Uh, and not, another thing that they did very well, they actually did a very cool partnership with Binance. So basically, they approached Binance or Rift approached Binance. They also to get listing of their uh, to raise capital for the project. So I think this is actually very interesting about uh, this partnership. Now I actually want to go straight away and look at Cosmos. So what is Cosmos? Let's start. Cosmos aim to become the internet of blockchain where any blockchain is able to communicate, share data and transact with any other. So this is similar to what Polkadot is trying to do, all right? I'm not going to dig in into the technology, what they're doing. So a brief history about Cosmos, they raised $70 million, the first 29 minutes of the initial Cosmos token sale. And this is obviously something for you guys to understand. That was really at the hype of their ICO. So they've been around for quite some time. Um, so this is also something to understand. So I'm proud today this uh, thing you should know. What else? So the native token of, of Cosmos, it's called Atom. In regards to how many projects Cosmos has been building, it's not looking good compared to um, Polkadot. So, uh, so Cosmos has 16 mainnet, so 16 live projects that are currently available and working. So most of them I can see here. So if you click here, mainnet, most of them are related to finance. Obviously it's not, it's not by coincidence. We had the whole DeFi movement that started last year, very strong. Also it makes sense this will be the sector or the industry that Cosmos project will be more likely to push forward now to try to get people and retail investors those who to use those products. And this is obviously something for you guys to understand. And we're gonna go back now to Polkadot um, transaction. So this is the number of active accounts. So we have now 89,000 active accounts. We have over 730,000 transactions. Now I'm actually gonna look now also at uh, so from what I can see here, there was 2 million transactions, which obviously makes sense. You obviously have to remember that Cosmos has been around way before um, Polkadot. So unfortunately, we're not able to see how many users have uh, an account or an address of uh, Cosmos. So from what I can see, there's only 2 million uh, transactions since it went live. Compared to Poker, they have 720,000 transactions compared to that. But here we have a bit more information. So again, 
So there's another blockchain I actually want to cover because I do feel it's, it is in the same category. Uh, it's called Quant Network. I've been following this project for um, quite some time. So we're going to look now at Quant. So Quant is a technology provider delivering enterprise grade inter interoperability for the secure chain of information, digital asset across any network, platform, or protocol at scale. Quant Overledger OS is the world first DLT operating system that complements and connects existing system and DLT to, to drive innovative and efficient roads for companies, public entities, and regulatory bodies alike. Now, this is basically what they're trying to do. So, contrary to Cosmos and uh, Polkadot, a quant network created an operating system that enable not just blockchain, also DLT, which stands for Distributed Ledger Technology, and also blockchain to interact. So the way I look at it, it's literally they created um, a computer, and then basically you can come in with any software and, and it will run. So I think this will be the most simple way to explain what quant network does. Um, Quant Network do not do any big advertisement. Quant Network is targeting literally enterprise that are interested in DLT or have currently a working DLT and they want maybe to migrate to other faster uh, blockchain technology. So instead of them writing everything from scratch, it literally will help them translate or, um, or save them a lot of time and process in regards to if they want to interact with let's say Ethereum or any other blockchain it really will save them a lot of time and they don't need to learn a new language so I think this is something that's quite interesting um, obviously it's not number one uh, blockchain it's not have a ridiculous gain and if you're gonna look here at the pricing but when I look at this project it's a project that literally focuses on delivering and focusing on enterprise they, they don't care about retail investor because that's not a business um, so from from my perspective this company is not doing very good marketing they are mostly focusing on reaching out to government local authorities enterprises to also to use services compared to cosmos and and polkadot they're actually more retail oriented I haven't seen yet a major enterprise that actually said they're going to be using Polkadot, they're going to be using Cosmos. I haven't seen a government that's deciding to be moving on or building their own technology, their own uh, stablecoin on top of Cosmos, on top of Polkadot. So right now, those two projects you're obviously are very excited about, which is, uh, I'm guessing, Polkadot or maybe Cosmos, are the ones that are more tailored to retail users. Um, as you saw, it's really trying to get people hyped. They're doing an amazing job in recruiting different projects because they have enough money to recruit. So it does remind me some of those old blockchain. Uh, I'm assuming you heard about Neo and the ontology. They actually have allocated like fifty thousand dollars, even in some cases hundred thousand dollars, to basically try to lure in project to build on top of their blockchain. Now Neo is not. It's okay. It's not the top performing uh, blockchain. The same thing for ontology. So I'm just saying that right now, um, the only way for Polkadot or Cosmos to really perform very well for the long term is to have institutional, to have maybe like grayscale opening a trust on the Polkadot or trust on the Cosmos to really have more, more insight or more willingness from government and from platform to really embrace those two, those two blockchain. So right now I can really say that it's really high by retail user, high by maybe those platforms that are benefiting from those tokens getting listed, from those tokens going up or rallying. But I don't really see at the moment how Polkadot or how Cosmos is actually really bringing an added value. Now, if, I, if I'm an institutional investor or if, or if I'm trying to build something, I probably will build it on top of Ethereum. Why will I go to Polkadot? If I'm trying to make a lot of money, 
and I have invested in early stage in poker that I'm going to do everything in my power to increase that value, which is the reason why we're seeing Polkadot is performing very well. Now, obviously, Polkadot has way more projects. Obviously, they're trying to reach different um, customers. If you go back to the project here, so going to even what they have here, they have tooling, which I have no idea what tooling is. All right, so they really are trying to reach multiple customers. So, from my perspective, Polkadot has an amazing marketing team, amazing business uh, strategy in regards to increasing value of the token, in regards to get to get incentive to different project to build on top of the project. Will that be the number one cryptocurrency? Only time will tell. I would love to see um, government or local authority um, eyeing in or looking at Polkadot, or looking at Cosmos, that will really maybe make me feel comfortable but regardless will Polkadot succeed probably yes will it be the number one coin probably not only time will tell so this was just for you guys to give you a better insight as to why Polkadot is performing better compared to cosmos compared to um quant network and i i just want maybe to summarize from my perspective, Polkadot is performing better because they were backed by VC, because the VC has put aside $20 million to actually to find and to have an application process for different blockchain protocol to be on top of Polkadot. And obviously creating a system where platforms like Binance will be interested to list anything that come out of Polkadot. We haven't seen, again, maybe I'm wrong, we haven't seen the same process, the same system in regards to Cosmos, in regards to Quant Network. So if you are looking for the next coin that's going to be very successful, I'll be probably looking for blockchain that are invested by VC. And then obviously those VC are creating a fund to allocate or to convince project to be on top of it. That will be maybe where I'll put my money. Think that I hope that was useful for you guys. Until next time, bye bye.